On a well to be trivia. Ah, a bit of a chilly start here this morning. Um, fucking dogs. Roll a fucking intro. Hi, Ify Trev here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Oh, I'm over these fucking dogs, seriously. Right anyway, so uh, I'm on today. Um, my film crew, she's off on a um, group ride up to Gladstone. She'll be freezing her ass off this morning. Uh, I hope it goes well for her. So, yeah, it's a big win uh, the other day with uh, Verge. Uh, getting that, um, just getting it running, just fucking awesome. So today is, uh, I've got to finish some things off. Now, I, the bike doesn't run on the on position on the switch there. It doesn't do that. Um, it only runs in reserve, and at this stage we don't know how how many how how many k's we get out of the main tank to hit reserve tank. Now, what I did last time, which I figured out wasn't going to work, I made a line from the bottom from the tank up and over the loop here, and then back to the filter and to the pump. What I realised that wasn't going to work because even though the top tank was empty. We're still going to pump from the bottom tank. So what I've done now, I put a T piece down the bottom. You can't see, but there's a T piece down in here. That line runs through to the filter. I've got this clear line that runs up. And what this bike does, it has its main feed line, which is this big line, which runs to the bottom uh, reserve tank. And it always pumps from reserve tank. There's no fuel um, tap on this thing. This is a breather line. So I'm actually going to cut this. I'm going to put another T piece in. And I'm going to tap this line here into the breather line. And that way, as this fuel tank empties, we'll have an accurate here because it, I've got it plugged at the moment and it doesn't work. But if I tap into this T piece here, when this tank is full and when this tank empties, this clear line here will actually start to empty. And then we, when that starts happening, we'll be able to read the trip meter gauge and see exactly how many k's we get to the top tank and that way that's about the only way i can rig up a, a working fuel gauge because at this stage we don't know well we haven't been on a long enough ride um to even run out of fuel tank so but we need to know when this tank empties which is what this clear line is going to do when i finish um tapping into the breather line and then there's another three litres left in this tank, but it'll only go down as far as about here because that's where the T-piece is. And once it drops below the level of the T-piece, it'll only be sucking air. But there's at least a good two litres there in reserve. But what we need to know is how many Ks do we get out of this tank before it starts dropping down there on this clear line. So that's what, so that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to drop a T-line in there um, and then hook it all up. And then after that... Um, Front fork seals need to be done. I've got the seals here. I've watched all the videos. Um, I'm fairly confident that I can fix it. So, rightio worlds, I'll get back to you. Um, yeah, no one here today to help me film, so I'm just going to do it, and I'll show you after the job's done. Later, bye. Rightio worlds, so it's done. Cut the line, and I put the T-piece in. Um, and that's it here. Hopefully I've got enough room to get me... I have secure that back in with the seat on so this will be my fuel gauge here so when this tank runs out we'll be able to see the fuel starting to drop and just by reading the trip meter we'll know exactly how many litres we get out of this top tank so that is my fuel gauge so like I said underneath there's a T-piece that runs straight across to the filter um, and it pumps from the bottom tank here all the time and this tops into the breather line at the top up there so that way this level can go up and down and be extremely accurate because it can breathe. That is, I'm going to put another cable tie on there, but anyway, there is our fuel gauge to know when the top tank runs out of fuel. Right here, well, so next job for me is, uh, I've got to pull, well, next job is um, fuel in the tank and uh, put all the seat and bolt, de bolt seat down, put all the side covers on, this part of the bike, it's, it's finished. Um, it's done. Now, something else that's happened is I shorted out the tank wire down into here, and now what happens is we no longer have an oil light, and we no longer have a high-low high beam light. 
The indicators still work, yes. But the oil light only comes on now when you uh, hit the start. So I'm gonna have to take this cover off again, see if I've dropped the fuse somewhere or either that or I've damaged the relay down here in the brain box when I shorted out because I was trying to make I was trying to make this fuel light come on. I don't even know how to get the back of this cover off. So if anyone can tell me how to get this cover off off the tank back of the taco because I can't get it off. There's there's a hole down the back. It looks like a screw hole but there's no screw in there. I've tried I've tried and I've tried to get this back cover off. I can't get it off. I don't know what's holding it on there. Um, Cause I was gonna, try, I wanna replace this low fuel level globe or make that light up. Cause that's part of the reason why the revs and the on switch on the fuel tap doesn't work. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to pull this cover off and see if I've knocked the fuse or something. I don't think I have cause that light comes on and hit the start. But some, anyway, after crossing over a wire down here off the bottom of this fuel tank that runs the sensor, I have blown the oil light and also the high beam light doesn't come on either so I've done something there anyway look apart from that um, yeah the bike's running and running good so I'm gonna drop some fuel in there put another cable put another cable tie on here just to hold that into place um, and put the seat and everything back on um, yeah and then get stuck into the forks so catch you later bye Oh, radio well, it's, uh, it's about half two in the afternoon, job's done. Uh, I didn't bother filming at all, um, I didn't bother filming any of it, because it was a, just a pain in the ass to do, and it was messy and oily, and I tell you, I just, honestly, I just couldn't be fucking bothered. So, anyway. So, anyway, both fork seals are done, I had to do the right leg twice, because it wasn't until I pulled the second fork leg apart, that I'd realised I'd put, uh, at the bottom of the tube where it sits at the bottom of the fork there's a little cup that it sits in and I'd put that up the top and I struggled for like ages trying to get this cup thing in because the spring was just sitting way up here I got that fucker in there you know I got that spring clamped down so fucking tight and I got that screwed down and got it in there and then I realised when I pulled the um, other fork leg off that I had that bottom cup in the wrong spot and that's why the spring was sticking so far above so when I put the second leg together it went together so easily so I pulled the first leg, this right right side down, I pulled that completely apart again and got it right this time and it just all went back together so easily. So anyway, uh, seats all bolted on, side covers on, um, fork seals are done, front wheel bearings are done. I have back brakes, back brake shoes coming in this week. Air filter's done, slides are done, oh, does she go. So uh, anyway, Worlds, um, yeah, I couldn't be bothered filming, pulling the f there's plenty of videos out there of people rebuilding Virago forks, so I don't think I need to put one together, but just to let you know that for today, started about, oh, about 10 o'clock, and it's now half two in the afternoon. I didn't have too many breaks, but yeah, it took me quite a few hours to get it pulled down, stripped down and done, but it's done. It's all been apart and all back together and all working, so one step closer to a roadworthy. Anyway, world, stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.